community who has a true heart for helping others. She is joining us here today with her mom. We have Lena and Jessica here with us. Lena, I'm so glad to have you here on the show. I am too, to be here on the show. Yeah, absolutely. And mom, Jessica, we've seen you around here before, and yes. we're so glad that you were able to bring Lena around this time mm -hmm. for a very fun occasion. Mm -hmm. Lena, you've been very busy raising money for a lot of um, really good things happening across the state here for the American Heart Association. Tell me what you've been up to. So what I've been up to is raising money, giving out bracelets like these. Whoa, pretty. That's awesome. And who do the bracelets go, go to? They go to people that have donated. And so I would make these and then give them out. So you've been doing a really big fundraiser for the American Heart mm -hmm. Association. What have you done to fundraise? I've made bracelets. I made thank you videos. And I've um, made um, a Facebook Live. Yeah, I've seen you do these like reading stories with Lena, right? And you have all sorts of cool hashtags. Mm -hmm. Mom, what do you think of all this? So Lena is a natural born leader. And when she brought the fundraiser idea to me, I thought that she'd be okay with just signing up. But after three days of persistence from her, um, she had bigger ideas. So one of the ideas was to do a story time online and go oh live. Gosh. So people were able to watch her um, read the story. She's been very active about making sure that she's staying on top mm -hmm. of thanking everybody who's donated. Um, and then we've been able to come up with some pretty fun ways of mm -hmm. putting some graphics together to get people on board. So it's been it's been fun. Mm -hmm. it's been fun. We've been looking at some of the graphics too. They're impressive graphics for what, eight years old? Third mm -hmm. grade, is that right? Yeah. Okay, that is incredibly impressive. Um, what has been your favorite part of this process? Well, my favorite part has been like um, give, giving money and I've been getting like little gifts from my PE teacher. Cool. And it's like so happy about it. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. What was your original goal and how much you hoped to raise? My original goal is just trying to get at least one thousand dollars and a hundred. No, what was your first goal? So we have to go all the way back to day one. Day one, it so two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness! And then you beat that goal, and then your second goal. What goal was that? I think it was like five hundred dollars. And now this is your final goal, mm -hmm. which is. I think it. You forget. He is a thousand dollars, and have yeah. you made your thousand dollar goal? I beat it. You did. So, do you know what your final number is right now? Um, one thousand two hundred and forty-seven dollars. That is amazing. To start as your goal in the two hundreds, and then to work your way up from there—that is a really good way to do it, though. Kind of building it in small increments, and then mm -hmm. here you are. Now. Today is the last day to donate. If people want to support you even more, I know you've far mm -hmm. surpassed your goal, but hey, you can always go a little bit further. Why mm -hmm. not? Mm -hmm. And again, we're looking at some of the cool graphics, um, reminding people that March 3rd is that final day. Oh, is that the cookie cake you got when yes. you reached 1,000? Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so, so fun. Okay, so why the American Heart Association? Why it? Well, I don't know. It just. It just came to me for okay. some reason. School fundraiser. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a little collaboration. You had a good idea, and then you just ran with it. Mm -hmm. So is, do you see a future in maybe kind of leading with Lena and doing anything else to help people like this? Well, maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a gymnast. Oh. And I want to compete in the Olympics. Well, that's an oh. awesome goal. You heard it here first. <laughs> Grace can cover that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, Jessica, just how proud of you are of Lena? We are all so proud of yeah. Lena because one, again, she has big goals yeah. and she likes to see them mm -hmm. through. So just like with her gymnastics and her schoolwork, mm -hmm. it, we're very proud of you, Lena. You've been doing a really good job. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Lena, what would you say to maybe your friends at school that, or maybe at gymnastics that haven't done something like this before? Why would you tell them to, to get involved in something like this? To get in something involved like this, it would be a great opportunity to like be able to do something new. Because yeah. if you 
like haven't done something new and you're trying to like figure out what happens, just go for it. Like it's always a great opportunity in life to figure something out new. Well, I think we could all take that advice. Same. <laughs> You are so wise, um, and you are clearly very accomplished, and I think this is just the beginning. You have a very bright future ahead, and I'll look forward to covering you when you're on the floor in gymnastics um, on the big screen. I know you'll do great things. Okay. So thank you for joining us today, and Jessica, thank you, too, thank you. for bringing Lena here. You're welcome. All right, well, if you are interested in checking out all the amazing work that Lena is that. doing, we'll connect you with all the details over on our website, crliving.tv. Wasn't she just the cutest? She is so cute. She is adorable. And good news, the <gasps> fundraiser has been extended to March 8th. So if you do want to continue donating, you still can do that. Um, just Get go on to the it. American Heart Association's website, and we'll also connect you over on our website.